Hey everybody, it's Ry Rhino, Charles, Oliver, Craig, Steve. And we're here at Confisco's. Confisco's Grill. Yeah. In Islands of Adventure. And has anybody been here before? My first time, actually. Yeah, I have been here once before. About eight years ago, I don't remember the experience. I've never been here. So eight years ago, non-memory, and... About four or five months ago. Four or five months ago. Did you like it? I liked what I had. Oh. Uh, but it was mixed, so it'll be interesting to see. Okay, so we're gonna go in and see how this goes. And yeah, maybe it'll be quieter in there. It's pretty loud yes. out here. One of only two full service restaurants here at Islands of Adventure. There you go. What's so, the other one? Mythos. Mythos. You know how we feel about Mythos. So here we go. Number two. Cool. Steve, your first impressions? Uh, it's kind of cool. I like the, they have little touches from all the different lands. Um, the chairs are ugly, but <laughs> overall it's pretty nice. I kind of, the only thing actually I will complain a little bit about is I don't like when restaurants are big open spaces where like everyone's conversations are like heard amongst everyone else. I like when there's little like cut off spaces and booths and everything, but personal preference, I guess. Charles. First impressions, uh, I like it. It's comfortable. We're eating in, what's it, around noon, uh, early afternoon. It gets decent lighting, so it's light enough to be cozy, but it's still got enough to read your menu. It's not overly dark in here. Um, the decor is pretty solid. It's got elements from all of the parks, um, or all of the various parts of the uh, park. So uh, I like it. I feel comfortable here. I am willing to eat here, which, you know, is good recommendation, I suppose. Craig. What else is there to say? There's nothing else to say. Oliver, what did we get for appetizers? We got the hummus uh, and we got the calamari. Mm -hmm. uh, I have tried the calamari and I've got to say, I'm, I'm somewhat impressed. So the actual calamari itself, like the, the inside the octopus, is pretty good. It's a good quality piece of octopus. It's not that chewy, which calamari can be sometimes. However, I prefer my calamari to be a bit more crispier, and I find the batter on the outside isn't as crispy as I would like. So it's not terrible, but it's. I agree. I think it's. Yeah. I think it's pretty decent. Um, but I do like the super crispy can. But I, I do think it's pretty good. There's this sauce that comes with it. I'm not sure what it is, but there was literally. It looks like there was more in here than it was because I hit it, but there was literally nothing in here. This it was the, this like. Somebody had took a knife, scraped the cap of a sauce thing, and then put that in, in here. So they kind of done it good. with the actual calamari. So like we were saying, as much as we enjoy eating the packing peanut kind of stuff that they sit it on, it, it bulks up the dish. Yeah. So it looks more impressive, and yeah. it looks like there's more there than there actually is. Yeah, but um, I, so I've tried the hummus. I enjoyed it. Did you try the hummus yet? Not yet. You're reaching for it, but... There's two olives, and I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to take one of them. No, I don't like olives, so... Um, people, olives, people named Oliver. Um, but people know. People know. <laughs> uh, but they give you this pretty massive non bread. Would you say that's what that is, or do you think it's a pita? Oh, it's a you... pita. It's a pita. It's a pita. What do you think of it, the hummus? Um, the hummus itself is it's good. It's very routine, but it's still really good. Um, you can tell it's fresh made here. Uh, I'm more impressed with the pita actually. It's a good pita. I like it. I agree. I enjoyed the bread that they've chosen to give us yeah. to eat with our hummus. I like that it wasn't just normal, yeah, like sliced exactly. up, store bought or whatever. Yeah. So no, it, it cool. shows it shows that it's actually, uh, you know, someone proud baked this pita with their heart. A proud pita baker. Uh, probably with an oven. What? Probably with an oven, not their heart. <laughs> Fiery heart. Who knows? Who knows? Well, I had the chicken Valhalla pasta. Clearly, it's the pasta of the gods. I would assume with Valhalla in the title. Uh, we're talking sautéed chicken breast with fusilli pasta, tossed with kale, artichoke hearts, fresh tomatoes, and a lemon caper rosemary sauce, topped with a crispy cabbage blend. Um, overall, the taste is actually 
pretty fantastic. Um, it, it's really delectable, the best part being the artichoke parts. I love artichoke parts. The only thing is, this is like the chicken slices that they have in the pasta. Um, so, they're very small, they're very tiny, and there's not a lot of them. Um, there's the perfect amount of pasta, but just not enough chicken. So, for $13.99, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. So, I went for the chicken curry chakra. Um, the flavors are definitely there, I will say that. So, in the dish itself, it's uh, Caribbean spiced chicken. Uh, with carrots, onions, peppers, and sweet raisins, served with a coconut jasmine rice. The rice was definitely a highlight. The rice was very good, uh, flavored very, very well. That that coconut came through, and it really complemented the the dish. The curry was it was good. The good mix of flavors. Like Craig though, this here I found a piece. This is the this is the chicken. Like, and this isn't what I just you know. This is like the last piece of chicken. All the chicken was this size, so it is lacking in the meat. Um, and with the actual vegetables that they put in there, uh, you can tell that they've used a lot of cheaper vegetables more than the more expensive ones. So there was a lot more celery in there than there was peppers. But saying that, it wasn't bad. It was $13.99 and that's not a bad price point for this. I certainly wouldn't pay any more than that. Um, it, it, I don't feel like they've, uh, like they've been cheap. I'd say this is a $13.99 dish, but definitely not a penny more. So, based on my server's recommendation, I got the Salmon Santa Maria, uh, which is a salmon with applewood smoked bacon, fingerling potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and a Mediterranean caper sauce. And as I look around the table, I was probably the most satisfied with my entree. Um, but I also uh, was charged $8 more for it. It's on the high end. It's $21.99. Um, and it deserves to be on the high end. Uh, it seems to be one of the better dishes that they have there. It was pretty well balanced. It's got Brussels sprouts, it's got potatoes, it's got your vegetables, starches, and fish. Um, it's filling me up, but it's not overly weighty, and the flavor is very good. Um, uh, it's got, it also has uh, some onions and tomatoes diced up and mixed in with it as well. Um, so overall, I really enjoyed it, but you can definitely tell that there's a price difference there um, as far as quality is concerned. Um, but it was worth the $21.99, um, and I enjoyed it, so I happen to like this entree. So I had the buffalo chicken, sa buffalo chicken and shrimp sandwich. It, the flavor was really, really good. Um, I'll also, I'll mention it was $13.99. The flavor was really good, but the bread itself, I think, was like frozen and then reheated because it's like so tough that like it like doesn't, I don't know, it's not like a fluffy piece of bread. It's like, I don't know, stiff and not good. Um, but yeah, the flavor was really good. The chicken was kind of like cardboardy tasting, but overall pretty good. So I got the Southwest Chicken Salad. It is grilled fajita chicken tossed over romaine lettuce with tomatoes, cucumbers, roasted corn, crunchy tortilla strips. I didn't have those. Salsa and Tabasco onions served with chipotle ranch dressing. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, it won at the thinnest piece of chicken I've ever seen in my life. It was like paper that looked like chicken. Um, then also, I'm pretty sure there wasn't a cucumber in here. You can see in this mix here, tomato, onion, corn and that was all in the bottom of the uh, the bowl none of the and that's all there was I didn't really even eat, eat anything oh he spotted a cucumber oh there's another one um, so but I definitely did not have crunchy tortilla strips in this um, maybe that's what the three slices of pita were supposed to be which were soft and not crunchy or Bake, but this whole thing was uh, $12.99, um, and uh, it's probably the worst Southwest chicken salad I've ever had, so don't get it. What did we get for dessert, Craig? Uh, we got some uh, peanut, peanut butter, butter diamond. Peanut, a peanut butter diamond. Um, that would be my stripper name if I could have one. <laughs> peanut butter diamond. Um, She's a beauty. But yeah, we got that as well as chocolate cheesecake. Um, no ideas on the prices because we weren't, uh, we didn't see a menu. We were shown a kind of piece of wood with all the desserts on them. And then we can't make this stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we were just told what the items were. 
So, um, yeah, we, we made a ballpark guess on that. And then they also have a Brookie Sunday, the brownie cookie Sunday that's not on the plate that they bring around to show you. Um, I'm not not impressed with them. The peanut butter thing's actually like really, really good. Um, but they're served on plastic. That, that's all I got. Uh, overall, I kind of agree with Craig. I think the peanut butter diamond thing was really good. Um, and the cheesecake, the bottom, I think actually was not good. I think it was like the, it was too dense and didn't taste that good to me. Charles. Uh, I agree with both of them. The peanut butter diamond was the better of the two. I kind of enjoyed it. If you like peanut butter, you'll like it. And the cheesecake, there was a big variation between like the airy top frosting part and the kind of more dense chocolate cheesecake thing on the bottom. So um, when you bit into it, like the left half of my mouth sank down and the right side was kind of up. So it was kind of like a weird off density texture thing. I don't know if that would keep most people from eating it. The flavor was still good, but it just wasn't as balanced as far as that's concerned. But I mean, it's it did its job. It was a chocolate cheesecake, so. All right, Oliver, which one was your favorite? Uh, it's got to be the peanut butter diamond, uh, not just because it's my favorite stripper as well. <laughs> um, the only one I'll slip the 20s in. <laughs> oh, no, it was it, out of the two, it was the clear winner. It's not the, the, the flavors of the chocolate cheesecake, they were good. It wasn't overly rich, which you can sometimes get with the chocolate cheesecake. It's just the textures. It was too light on top, too thick on the bottom, so it, I just didn't enjoy it that much. But the Well, I, and I'll side, say about that, it should have been served upright. It came uh, yes. sideways on the plate, and so you kind of have to, you go a different way, but if it's got the top, the fluffy top, you need to go down through it to get to the, yeah. so it, it, the, it's not served correctly. And not to repeat what Craig said, but it really annoyed me too, the plastic plates, we're in a, you know, we're in a table service restaurant, we shouldn't be eating off of plastic plates, it's not a child's birthday. Well, party. that doesn't even know, I don't like places that, like, drink places that don't put prices on menus, and, and also we were shown a tray and quickly told what everything was and then taken away, and then what did we want? I like, I kind of have to look at it a little bit and read about it and think about it, I just, Digest. you know, and I pr we probably could have asked, but that's the only thing is so, it's, it's nice to see the desserts, I liked that we were able to see them, but at the same time, like, I didn't have enough time with them. I needed to spend more quality time with all the desserts before I chose which you one I have a real more. relationship with your food, don't you? I do, yeah. I <laughs> eat it, and then I spit it out. Um, but, no, I, the peanut butter one for sure. Yeah. It's like a fluffy peanut butter mousse, a little cookie on the bottom, covered in chocolate. A little gold thing on top. Yeah, a gold thing, I couldn't figure out whether it was tin foil or not, but I think it was the edible foil, or whatever that fancy stuff is, but, yeah, so. Okay, so we're done eating, and uh, Oliver, give me your wrap. Oh, it's not Oliver. <laughs> Oliver's way more attractive than that. All right, we are done, and final thoughts, Steve. Uh, overall, not very good. My sandwich is like, I don't know, just the bread wasn't very good. Sorry, it's super sunny and I forgot sunglasses. But it's getting yeah. brighter by the second. Yeah, I know I'm crying, but uh, yeah, overall not very good. <laughs> I would not come back on my own dollar. Oliver, your final thoughts? It's not terrible, it's not great. It's a real shame that there's uh, not that many options in Side Islands of Adventure table service options. Um, it's not anywhere that I would recommend going to if I was here with a group of people, but if someone suggested it and we ended up going there, I also wouldn't be too upset. It's just, I'm kind of really on the fence with it. And Char whoa. Charles, your final thoughts? Um, you know, I enjoyed my meal. I, but like I said, um, my entree was the service recommendation and also had a significant jump in price, uh, which on an average day, I don't imagine myself wanting to come in here and get a $22 entree. Probably, especially since it's right at the front of the park if I was hungry, I'd imagine myself wanting to get like a, a lunch thing, a sandwich or a salad or something like that. And um, it seemed to underperform on most of those. Uh, but my meal was good, um, and I liked the, the lighting, the decor, it was comfortable. Uh, it was a great place to stop in for an hour, but I wasn't overall impressed with the menu, um, with the options, or that price jump. Uh, it seems like most things are around, most things seem to be underperforming at $14, and then performing at 22, but there's not a lot of middle ground there. So uh, that, uh, that was my impression overall. 
For me, I don't think anything was like offensively bad. That was definitely the worst Southwest chicken salad I had. It was like they did the bare minimum they could to call it that. Um, I enjoyed the two uh, appetizers, the hummus, the hummus and the, uh, the calamari. And they were, we didn't say how much they were earlier, but I'll tell you how much they are in just a second here. I also think the desserts, like, yeah, I was actually really surprised to find out the desserts were so cheap, uh, inexpensive. They were like two fifty and four something, and um, the peanut butter diamond is where it's at. Uh, um, Six ninety nine was for the hummus, and eight ninety nine for the calamari. So even the appetizers are not, I don't think, overly priced. However, the entrees, yeah, it seemed like a little for what you're getting. At least for me, I wasn't getting really what you're paying for. Um, I, yeah, I don't know that I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be like, no, no one ever come here again, but I'm also not going to recommend this, especially when there are great places right around the corner to go eat at City Walk. Gregory. Um, it's definitely not as strong as uh, all the City Walk restaurants. Those are definitely where you need to be heading if you're looking for a full service meal. Uh, I think the problem with this mythos, uh, even even uh, Finnegan's over at uh, Universal Studios is that the restaurants inside the theme parks, they, you know, they had to adopt the theme of the areas that they were in and try to stylize the menus around them. And the menus are just getting very, very tired. And uh, where City Walk is new, it's fresh. A lot of the places are uh, just absolutely delicious there. So uh, it, it wasn't that bad. Um, you know, appetizers weren't that bad. They were like, seven bucks nine bucks entrees were all right around like fourteen dollars dessert the cheesecake was five the um the awesome peanut butter thing was only like two dollars and 89 cents something like that so overall not terribly expensive just uh mediocre average so you've heard all of our opinions you've heard our feelings and our thoughts on it so if you've been here let us know about your experience what you think about here what's your favorite restaurant at islands of adventure is it quick service or sit down i mean you've got this or mythos um but anyway it's been great we'll see you soon bye